Hi, welcome to Dizuma Architecture. My name is Andrea, and I'm here with Vipul from ADP. Hi, Vipul. Thanks for being here. Hi, hey, Andrea. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So what do you guys do? So at ADP, we're one of the country's largest providers, actually one of the world's largest providers of uh, HR systems and payroll. Great. So we're here to talk about Workforce Now, which sits on AWS. Yes. So tell our viewers, what is that? So ADP Workforce Now is our uh, uh, human resource HR and human capital management and payroll system. We've got benefits, we've got talent management, we've got recruiting, as we say, from uh, hire to retire. And it is uh, our solution that's used in the mid-market. It goes from, from some very small clients all the way up to enterprise uh, size. Great. Let's dive into the architecture. Um, I see lots of different services. And uh, so you have users, I'm sure, right, yep. employees. Uh, and I see some mobile devices and computer yep. systems and ELB. How do you yep. access the system? So coming, you know, we have an API layer that uh, requests, all requests come in. They go through um, our load balancer and then right into our EKS cluster. Okay, so this must be heart of this whole architecture, yes. right? The application logic, tell us what size EKS cluster are you running? Um, well, it's, it's, we have hundreds of microservices that are running inside this EKS cluster. And those microservices mm -hmm. are grouped together in node clusters. Um, because it, depending on what part of the application you're in, there, there are different characteristics of that. In addition to that, one of the services we run in here is our uh, continuous calculation real-time payroll engine. Okay, so it depends, obviously, me, myself, you know, logging into my system. Yep. Uh, I might do it early in the day. Yep. I'm sure you have seasonality and there's yes. also time of the day. How do you scale up and down? So again, um, as, as you just said, we have seasonality during the year for like, let's say, benefits, annual enrollment. Um, you know, October, November are the yeah. busy months when people uh, go do that. It can happen other times in, in the year too, but that's traditionally busy time. So we scale up those benefit services during that period of time. But on a daily basis, we have um, people clocking in and clocking yeah. out to start and end their shift. And so those services scale up on a daily basis and then they scale back down again when, when traffic is low. Oh, that makes perfect sense for performance and cost, yep. I'm yep. sure. So I see streaming for Kafka. What do you use that for? So it, let's take the clocking out example. Mm -hmm. So when, when someone clocks out, right, an event is dropped onto, onto Kafka. Mm -hmm. That event is read by our continuous calc uh, uh, payroll engine. That and is. once that, that clock out event mm -hmm. is read, immediately um, for that user, their payroll up to the minute for that day is calculated. In addition to that, at the company level, all the liabilities, because it's a, it's a continuous real-time payroll, yeah. all those liabilities at the company level are known as well. Okay, so is event management at high speed? It is, And yes. you do this to keep, obviously, information current and available real-time. Yep. Where do you store this information? So all the information is stored um, in Aurora. That's our system of record. Okay. Um, we're, we're using uh, Postgres on, uh, on Aurora. Okay. Um, once that information is stored in there, we sync it back up with Elastic Cache um, and with uh, Elasticsearch uh, as well. Um, I so I, again, like when someone logs in, right, uh, the first thing when, when they log into these services, we go over here to uh, our cache service and saying, hey, what are you entitled to? Um, and, and we bring back and retrieve the, the, the data that, that that user, and by the way, that user could be an employee, could be a manager, or it could be what we call a practitioner, um, what yeah. data that, that that user needs readily. So you make this information readily available quickly yes. through Elastic Cache. Yes. And then um, Elasticsearch. Yes. Are you using Elasticsearch? We are using Elasticsearch okay. too. So um, Elasticsearch, again, back to whether it's the employees or, or the employers, right? They, there's various different bits of information they want to look up. As an employer, I may want to look at all my employees. Mm -hmm. As an employee, I may want to look at my, my payroll history, let's say, um, or, or other history. So we use Elasticsearch to go get that data and uh, serve it back up to the clients. This is very sensitive information. It is. I'm sure no one wants to have access to anyone else's data. How yeah. do you secure it in, in Aurora? All the, the security in Aurora mm -hmm. is done at the row level. So we do row level security, and by the way, um, encryption as well too. In fact, the entire that's environment it. for all the data that's in transit or at rest is fully encrypted. 
Um, yeah, that's very impressive. And, and also, let's talk about geographic, uh, mm -hmm. you know, say the regions you're using. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have users all around the world. Yeah, What's well, the geographic presence? Yeah, so we, we're using multi-availability zones, multi-region uh, throughout U.S. And, and throughout Canada, right? I see. Um, and in fact, our system, so Workforce Now today has about 70,000 clients on it with tens of millions of users. So everything that we've architected over here is to handle that load. Um, and as we're you know, moving, moving our clients and putting them live on this, we're ready for that load, and, and that's what was architected for, was to handle those loads, and quite frankly, it'll scale even larger. Yeah, very interesting architecture. You walked us through, you know, the Workforce Now platform, which is highly scalable and, um, you know, handling uh, all the application logic with EKS, as well as uh, event management at high speed with Kafka, and then storing, uh, making data accessible and encrypting data for users using RDS, as well as Elastic Class and Elasticsearch. So thanks for walking us through this architecture. Thank you for having me today. Yeah, and thank you for watching. This is my architecture.